normal lymphocytes count and percentage, 1 to 3 multiply 10 to the power 9 per liter and 20 to 40 percent. The majority of circulating lymphocytes are small cells with a thin rim of cytoplasm, occasionally containing scanty azurophilic granules. This picture shows a small lymphocyte and two large granular lymphocytes with azurophilic granules. Nuclei are remarkably uniform in size. This provides a useful guide for estimating red cell size, normally about 7 to 8 micrometer, on the blood film. Some 10% of circulating lymphocytes are larger, with more abundant pale blue cytoplasm containing azurophilic granules. The nuclei of lymphocytes have homogeneous chromatin with some clumping at the nuclear periphery. About 85% of the circulating lymphocytes are T-cells or natural killer cells. In infections, both bacterial and viral, transformed lymphocytes may be present. These immunoblasts are 10 to 15 micrometer in diameter, with a round nucleus, often with a large nucleolus, and abundant deeply basophilic cytoplasm. They may develop into plasmacytoid lymphocytes and plasma cells, and these are occasionally seen in the blood in severe infections and the absence of infection. Multiple myeloma must be excluded. In viral infection reactive lymphocytes appear in the blood. These have slightly larger nuclei with more open chromatin and abundant cytoplasm that may be irregular. The most extreme examples of these cells are usually found in infectious mononucleosis. Get your eyes familiar to the lymphocytes images below, before white blood cells identification. For more information please refer to AC and Lewis Practical Hematology book. If you are interesting about my video creation please subscribe us on YouTube and also give your comments.